It's Chief Jessica Lazar here uh, for Chiefs Uncut. So I'm not sure if I updated this to the community last time I did the Chiefs Uncut. However, I am now the file holder for the Jawad Odu file. This is something that I feel very passionate about. And again, I apologize if I've already updated the community on this. It's hard to keep track of all the updates that we do give to the community. However, I'd like to update on the community meeting that was held on June 3rd. So we did address a lot of the concerns that came throughout the winter time in terms of the, the grading, the plowing and snow removal and the safety concerns that some of our community members have had for the roads there. We have also addressed or brought, uh, Kipo had presented some of the projects that they're working on. So I implore you to really respect their devices that they have up there to monitor the water temperature, the water levels. In order for them to conduct their research, this is for the benefit of all Ganawage Hironu and all of the fish life that we have up there. They're really trying to work hard to study the fish life and the populations in order for planning for sustainability. So I um, also encourage you to go check out their Facebook page and their website to find out a little bit more about what they're working on and respect their devices if you find them in uh, any of the lakes and leave them alone, please. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I've been working on is the, of course, the multi-purpose building. So we are in the process of finalizing the architect's plans for the building. We will definitely have an update towards the community and everyone will have a chance to see what has been worked on, what has uh, been done so far, and why it has taken uh, this amount of time to get to where we are today. We want to ensure that we meet the needs of the organizations that are going to be housed there, but also the needs of the community in terms of community space. And um, on top of that, let's see, uh, I attended Iroquois Caucus uh, May 30th and 31st. It was my first Iroquois Caucus meeting. I am uh, also the chair of the Iroquois Caucus Harvesting Working Group and again this is another new role that I feel very passionate about and we are working on a lot of different projects that have been mandated through, mandated through the Iroquois Caucus before I was a part of it and also during um, the few short months that I've been there. Um, I would say a few short weeks I should say. Um, also for the Bill C-21 update, the, there is a non-derogation clause that's kind of standard within legislation. However, we are working on providing or engaging in a more meaningful definition of what that is uh, in trying to not have to have our hunters fight at the courts and instead of the point of contact with game wardens and whatnot that they would have that opportunity to demonstrate that they have the right for hunting and harvesting. As well, the long list of prohibited firearms has been removed. Um, another thing that I have uh, attended was the Montreal Heritage and Culture Committee that is made up of the Greater Montreal Area Commissioners and they all work on heritage and culture. They presented a plan for reconciliation with the communities that surround the greater Montreal, Montreal area, but as well as the urban indigenous population that they have within Montreal. Um, I think this work is very, very important. And I've already seen, I guess, the fruits of their labor within the relationships that we've had with other organizations throughout Montreal, such as the Montreal Port Authority. They have um, committed to donations to a multi-purpose building, but also have committed to collaborations on different um, projects that are, um, I guess, reflective and acknowledge the or recognize uh, indigenous presence in modern day times, and as well as uh, Ganyakahaga presence in Jojage. So there's a lot of projects and a lot of good things coming from from that. So thank you for listening to my very quick and fast update. I hope you all have a good week. <laughs>